Hello, this is David Gallup with the Texas Storm Shelter Guy, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I'm going to show you the ventilation system for all the Lifesaver Storm Shelters. All the units have two air vents, and they're located underneath the door. And the benefit to this is that you can have something fall on top of this door. You can drop a wall on this door. You can have a house fall on it, whatever, and you can still breathe. And the reason why is because the vents are located underneath the door. The door doesn't seal them off, it just goes over top of them, keeps any water from getting in. So that's the benefit of the way this design is. Most units, you're going to have an air vent that's going to be up here and it's going to be a whirly bird sticking up. The problem with that is, is something can fall on that and block your air supply and then if it's on the whirly bird it's probably going to be on the door as well and then you're stuck and you can't breathe. So with this design, this door is bulletproof to most handguns, this part where it steps up where it's one inch thick and it covers that air vent and protects it. Also, all the air vents have screens on the inside right here to keep any bugs and pests from getting in. And if you look at the inside of the air vent, it's got the ribs right here and you can put your cell phone right next to this air vent when the door shut and you can still make phone calls. If you got five bars outside of the unit, you're going to have five bars inside the unit. So that's one good benefit about it. And what these things look like when they're in the yard is the dirt is going to come up to about right here and then the grass grows up about right here and the door shuts and the grass is right here. So all you see is just this door. It's not something unsightly, something pleasant to look at. It's not, you know, a big whirly bird sticking out of the ground, a turbine. And here's a look inside. This is a eight person unit right here. And all the units have two air vents, one at each end. And the vent size is determined by the size of the unit. If it's a bigger unit, then these vents get bigger. So I want to thank you for your time. Have a good day.